Hey everyone, in this video we will work on showing the player character inside the equipment screen. We also add a simple Z rotation as you can see here. Let's start by opening your content browser, go to the equipment and then search for the canvas render target. So I will call the CRT layer capture. Then let's open this one up. And here under the size settings, we want to have 800 and 1024. We will use this to create a material. So right click on and choose material and call this player capture. Like this. Let's open this one up and get some space in here and here from the alpha we need a one minus exactly like for the item view we go to opacity and then we change here the blend mode for the settings we will use user interface and then we will use translucence reconnect it and we will see the outcome later next we need a widget to show the player character so let's go here and let's create a new user interface. Use a widget and call this WB player capture. And get an image. You can set it to any size you like. We will use this in another uh, user widget with a size box. So it doesn't really matter but you should use the M player capture in here like this can also change the desired like this but it doesn't really matter after this you want to go to the BP third person character and you want to create a child blueprint in this case this will be our player capture open this up and this one will be an exact copy of the um, normal player and this is completely fine for our tutorial but if you plan on yeah creating your own game you should add some more yeah how would i phrase it uh, like a tree of different player characters where you can separate the movement and the inventory and the other logic so that your player capture does not have the same things as the actual player only the things he needs so yeah but as i said before for this tutorial it's completely fine if you just create a child blueprint and we will use a small hack we will create here uh not here but in the parent we would create a variable which is this capture so we can distinguish those two very simple so in this case this is always false but in our child blueprint we can say is capture inside the construction script uh, we can say to, uh, it's true so we can now check if we are in our capture or not and maybe we can play some animation or don't play some animations then go to the player capture again here in the event graph and add a custom event this will be set recording ref and what we want to set here is uh yeah an actual blueprint but we didn't create it yet so go to the equipment and here we want to create a new blueprint class which will be our recording environment so you can use it to for example add some background pictures or add some other stuff but i will just use it so that uh, we have a player and a camera. So only the camera faces the player and the player rotates. So I call this player recording environments. We go into this environment and inside here, we first want to add a new C. So this will be our new root. We add a spring arm like this. And then we add the scene capture component to the. This will be connected to a spring arm and the scene capture component. I'm um, scroll down a bit and here 
we want to have our CRT player capture. Make sure to save it so that we don't have this question mark here like this. And then we can go up here and you can play with those values so that it works for you. But in my case, this worked best. So I will rotate this by minus 180 degrees. And then I will add to the spring arm a length of 150. No, sorry. I would change the target arm length to 150. Like this. So here will our, be our player and this will be the camera and the player will be rotated like this. After that, we can go to the event graph of this environment and we can add some custom events. And this will be our mouse move. And then we will have another custom event, which will be our clicked charge and our clicked end. So for the mouse move, we want to have a vector 2D. This one. Call this delta. And we will do the code later for this. So uh, next we can go back to this one and we can set here the recording ref to the environment. This one. Rename this to the recording ref, like this. And we can promote this to a variable. And then we need some overrides. So the first one will be on mouse move. We get the delta, cursor delta, which is a minus or plus value, depending on where you move on the screen. And then we get our recording ref inside here. Get the mouse move, this one, we call this, and we connect the parameters like this. Make sure that here is also compiled so that this one is the correct name. After that, we just say handled, and we can go to the next override, and this will be on a mouse button down. And also we can create on mouse button up. Go to the on mouse button down. And same goes here, get the recording ref. We want to click start. We just do it like this. And then on mouse button end, we can say click end like this. Can also create here the handle function and plug this in do the same for this one like this and then we can do one more thing which is the event on mouse leaf this is when we go out of this uh yeah widget blueprint so that we um also when we close uh give the command to click end so pretty simple, get the recording ref, click end, like this, compile and save. And you can double click on the clicked end to go in here. And here we want to have a new variable, which will be can rotate. So we have a gate that allows us to rotate or to not rotate. So we connect them to the clicked end and Click start and on start. Of course, we want to have it true. And then here we want to have the branch with the if and we connect the can rotate. So we start and we can rotate. Simple as that. Then from the delta, we want to divide so that it's a little bit more sensitive. You can play with those values, but for me, it's minus four and minus four. And then we break. Here's what we want to rotate, but for that we first need to create the event begin play and we want to spawn an actor from class like this. And here the place will be the scene. We want to get the world location. This 
then we want to make it a transform like this so we get the position of this recording environment and we spawn the player capture this one and we promote it to a variable called player capture breath. something like this so now well, when we spawn this player recon environment, we will always get the current location. Doesn't matter where the environment is, the player will be spawned at the center of the current location of this environment. You can add here always spawn, ignore collision, but default should be fine. And now we can use this variable here, the player capture reference, to add local rotation. Sorry, not this one, but at actor local rotation. This one, like this, oh, from the true, and we split the structures pin. And I only want to connect the x to the z, so it rotates around the z axis. Go to your content browser and search for the WB equipment. And inside here, we want to have the layer capture inside the middle. Then just simply fill, compile, save, go to the graph and here we want to have the same as inside the play capture. So this recording ref, this one, we want to have it inside our WB equipment. We create or we set it here and then we use it to pass it through so when we set the recording ref of the main screen this one we want to pass it to the wb player capture make sure to use this one so this is a direct reference to the w player capture we have here and we set the recording ref of this also with the same value like this after this, we want to spawn our recording environment and we want to pass it to all the yeah, widget blueprints that need it. So first we search the equipment where we open the equipment widget here. We get some space in here like this. And then we want to spawn actor from class here. And this will be our environment. Always spawn, ignore collision. Make transform. And for the location, I will use this time 10,000. And yeah, maybe add another 100 to it, something like this. You can make it in any direction. Just make sure that your world is not in there. So it should be outside of your gaming world. Next, we get some more space. We create a variable. This will be our player recording rep. Like this. And we get our equipment reference. And we set the, how was it called? The recording ref. Set recording ref. Connect everything and add it here back. And after you did this, you can just play and test the screen. And you should see the same as I do. And with a movement, or you click in and move the mouse, you can just rotate the player character like this. You can play with the CRT player capture. For example, you can multiply this by two. And as you will see, you it will increase the yeah, quality. But make sure to yeah don't hit too much on the performance. This recording can use a lot of performance depending on your game and depending on your machine. But yeah, you can, you can work with those values. You saw with 800, it's also fine. Here with uh, 1600, you have a quite better look on the character. Yeah, and that's it for this video. In the next one, we will start on adding the equipment 
to the character when we click here on an item and we will also display this on the character that is here and that's it for this video see you in the next one bye